In my first 12 hours of the Trailblazer League, I managed to unlock 3 new relics and 2 new regions. This video picks up directly where we left off the last one, link in the description if you missed it. Today we look to unlock our tier 4 relic, for which we have a choice between a relic that helps us with clues, or a relic that helps us with Slayer. As we chose Endless Harvest on release at the early stage of the game, there's no way I can compete with the top page people who likely have Skilling Prodigy as their relic, as it allows them to complete so many tasks so much more earlier. While this helps them loads early game and lets them keep their rank on the leaderboard, as the days goes on, their relic becomes more useless, and I continue catching up while having the perks of my own relic. So while it might not happen right now, I wouldn't be too surprised if you guys saw my name on that leaderboard in a couple of days. Now to get our day 2 grind started, we're going to be getting ourselves the rogues outfit from the rogues den. Not only does this help with thieving by giving us double loot, but just equipping the full rogues den outfit gives me 100 points. Alright, we failed five times in a row. Can we make it six? Oh, wow, we actually got one. Nice. Let's crack the safe good, please. Yes, let's go. Okay, that's three. Okay, can we get the fourth piece or we're going to get sent home packing? What we saying? What we saying? Damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please give me the fourth. Please. Yeah, let's go. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is a rogue kit? Okay, crack the safe and give me what I want this time. Oh, wow, okay, that worked. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's go! Okay, it's not actually as bad as I thought. We have our full set now. And that is 100 points just by wearing the rogue outfit itself, which is very nice. Yo, okay, that's a nice little task down there. We got a Ranar seed. Two of them, in fact. Let's go. 50 points earned for pickpocketing a knife. Or oh, doing 50 times. Okay, and we're at about 108k. We're going to leave it for here, and we're going to go buy ourselves a D skin. Okay, and we're now a very poor man once again, but we have ourselves a dragon scimitar. Now look at this. Boom. That's a medium and a hard toss done, so I think that's 150 points. And, if I'm not mistaken, just using the special attack, I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit safe about it, is another 50 points? Yes, so I just got 200 points just by buying a D skin. Alright, that's another 50 points and we're at 3.47. Are we not at 3.520 by now? I don't know. It takes a while to update. Either way, we're around 500 points away from our next relic. Go, look how fast this shit goes, bro. Oh my god. So I just got 1,000 total level, which is another 50 points. So if we update ourselves, we are at 3.590 points, so 410 until the next relic. Now, as you guys can see, I just got 60 strength. Now, if you watched my last video, you know that this is the freest 100 points of my life because I got a Tassar Cat Ohm drop. And that is 100 points right there. So that puts me up to 3690, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and this should be the, our 100th U log burned, which should be another 100 points, getting us to 3790, if I'm not mistaken. And yep, it is. So we're now, what, 210 points off our next relic. Okay, and that is another hard toss done. Chop 75 mage logs, giving us 100 points. We are now 110 points away from our next relic. And this red topaz machete right here gets me within 10 points of my next unlock. Okay, and this should be me getting base 10s, which will be another 10 points, putting us at 4,000 points. Am I correct? I am correct, which means... Alright, unnatural selection, that's what we're going with. When getting a Slayer task, you can choose which task to receive. The same task can be chosen repeatedly. So if I just want to keep doing Kraken over and over again, if I wanted to, I can. It just gives me the freedom to choose. It's such an OP relic in my opinion. Superior Slayer creatures have a 1 in 25 chance of spawning. That means easy imbued hearts, and they always drop a clue scroll if there's one on their drop table. So even though I don't have the other clue relic that I could have chosen, I'm still always going to get a clue scroll, like pretty much every single task. So this is a great, great pick for a relic, and the passive effect obviously for tier 4 is that my XP multiplier goes from uh, 8 to 12. So a very nice Slayer relic, and this is when we really start getting into the content. Let's select it. Alright, so I just got another 50 points for reaching 75 combat. We take those. Also, because of my new relic that allows me to choose my Slayer toss, during this defender grind, I'm going to be just getting like loads of Slayer XP because I can actually just choose a Hill Giant task and a Cyclops count as a Hill Giant. So I'm just getting loads of XP while getting my Dragon Defender. Very, very worth it. And I just got another 50 points for slaying 250 creatures on a Slayer toss. So I didn't even know that was another 50 points, but it adds up. Um, we are now, what, 3,080 away from the next relic. It's a bit off, but we will be getting a lot of points today. So this relic allows me to choose a task from any Slayer Master, and now that I'm over 75 combat, I should be able to complete a task just by choosing my Slayer task, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? 
Yes, I just got 10 points for choosing a task. Let's go. Okay, and that is the Iron Defender and 77 Strength. I really miss the DMM upgraded Defender rates. You don't know that they're gone until you play Trailblazer League. I just got 75 points for completing 10 tasks, and all I've been doing is getting my Dragon Defender. That is what's so good about the Slayer Relic. Alright, and this bone should be 43 prayer if I'm not mistaken. We have not used a single altar. We've been barring bones from all our kills to get this prayer. And that is a medium task. I'm fairly sure. Yes, it is. That is another 50 points earned right there. Okay, this has really taken a while. Update on the stats. We're 80 strength, almost uh, 63, 64 slayer. We just got our steel defender. Oh, that's a black defender right there. Let's go. Okay, we're still going quite dry here, not gonna lie, but the Slayer points and just the Slayer task makes it so much more easier for me to do. It's not really like I'm wasting time. And I got myself a Mithril Defender just now. Okay, we're actually getting a little bit lucky now. I'm actually getting ourselves an Adamant Defender, only the Rune, and then we can go up to Dragon. I literally just got a new task. I have 225 Slayer points, and now I've just gotten myself a Rune Defender, which means I have 500 tokens to try and get the Dragon Defender on. Hopefully we don't get too unlucky and we get it in these tokens. I just got a tooth half of a key, which is actually really good because once I get the loop half, I can open the crystal chest and that's a task that gives loads of points as well. Okay, so I got 500 more tokens because I was going dry and I just got my dragon defenders. And that is 100 points right there. Equip a dragon defender. Very, very nice. We can get out of here for now, but we do have 500 tokens. So while we did go pretty dry on the dragon defender, it really doesn't make that much of a difference because we could reassign every single slayer task to hill giants the whole time we were training slayer. And slayer is actually going to help me um, get a lot of these points. So the first thing I can do is I think I go to rewards and I go to unlock bigger and badder and that should be 50 points just in itself. Yep. So lighting this unlit bug lantern should be 50 points. Wield 50 points. There we go. All right, so I'm mining pure essence for a couple reasons. There's a lot of tasks centered around room crafting. So having like 200 to 300 pure essence will really help me out. Also, it'll help me train my mining. At 60 mining, I can go to the mining guild and get myself a rune pickaxe, and that's another 50 points. Um, there's a bunch of little 50 point tasks I'm just going to be stacking up over the course of this video. Alright, here we are at the body altar, and just making one body rune should be 50 points for us, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, very nice. Okay, and that is craft 200 essence into runes, which is another 50 points, and we're also at 35 rune crafting now. A very, very quick and easy 100 point hard task. All I had to do was one lap of the Sears uh, uh, Village Agility course, and that has earned me 100 points. So we're now 2620 away from the next relic. Okay, and this should be another easy 50 points just by going in this place. I don't even know what this place is, but yep, there we go. Come on, give me those 50 points. Defeat a wall beast. Okay, and this should be another 50 points from just wearing plus 15 prayer bonus, if I'm not mistaken, with the holy symbol and the monk robes. There we go, another 50 points. Okay, and this should be the poor scene of interest quest done, which will give me another 50 points, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Okay, and I finally killed Mole, bro. It took me like seven minutes, but that's 50 points. Oh, I got an amulet of strength, bro. Let's go. Let's actually go. That's actually sick. Okay, and that is 65 cooking, which is a requirement to make a pineapple. What was that pizza they just said? Because that's the task I'm about to do. We'll go figure it out. I think it's a pineapple pizza. All right, this should he this right here should be another 50 points just from making uh, errant four runes with one essence. And then I got an easy task done as well. So that's a some more points. 50 points earned there. And... Okay, so yeah, that was 60 points in total. 50 points and then another 10. And I'm going to get even more because if I'm not mistaken, I can make a mist rune here you need water runes to bind mist runes i see let me go get some water runes okay and that is another combination that's combination rune created that's another 50 points earned 32k okay that's fine actually that's 50 points is it not 50 points what oh no i need to mine an ore with it okay and that is mine some ore with a rune pickaxe 50 points yo i just got 50 points from 1250 total level i didn't even realize here i am make it a steel bar and that should be another 50 points for us Correct? Correct. That's a medium task done. And actually, I'm going to make a couple more steel bars because I'm going to make a steel plate body after this. All right. If I'm not mistaken, entering the crafting guild right now as I just got 40 crafting should be a medium task done. Yes, it is. And that's another 50 points. This should be 10 points just by unlocking the gate. Yes, it is. Um, let's go kill a blue dragon as well. Is it real? Yes, it is in fact real. And this is another 10 points off of a blue dragon. We're not done yet. That should be another 10 points off that black demon. Yes, it is. That's 72 Slayer. We're just going to finish up this task. 72 Slayer does also unlock two Wyvern tasks for us, which are both 50 points each, which is really great. And just training Slayer in general is really good for us. 
Okay, with getting myself 300 Slayer points, this allows me to unlock Broader Fletching, which means I can go make Broad Bolts or Broad Arrows, which is another 50 points. Okay, and that is another 50 points, just like that. Okay, Elemental Workshop 2 done, and that gives us 7.5k smithing and crafting XP times 10, obviously, so that gives us loads of levels, 54 smithing and 52 crafting. We also get another 50 points. First Wyvern kill, will I get a DFS? I really doubt it, and I've just started hitting 10 zeros as soon as it starts getting 0 HP. Either way, that's another 50 points off that. Okay, and that is another 15 points because a Fossil Island Wyvern is down. These guys are scary, I cannot lie. 3k cash as well, nice. Alright, we managed to get ourselves a Crystal Key for some drops, and this is another 50 points. The loot itself is good, but we're also doing it for the 50 points. And we got ourselves a Dragonstone and nothing else that I can see? Alright, and this should be the 50 points for teleporting to Fossil Island using the Dig Site Pendant. Let's go. Time to get some more points. If I get a kitchen and build it, that should give me 10 points. And if I go over here to the larder space and make an oak larder, if I'm not mistaken, that is another 50 points. Okay, this has possibly been the world's longest steel dragon kill ever. That could be because I'm meleeing it, and the only reason it's really viable is because of my relic. And the reason I've done it is for the 50 points it gives me. Uncut Ruby. I was hoping for a Vissy there, not gonna lie, but there we go, another 50 points. Okay, I just got the Goblin Diplomacy quest done because I'm now gonna be unlocking my Bone Crossbow and I need to do it. Alright, that is the Lost Tribe done, which gave me 36k mining XP as well as 50 points, which is very, very nice. I can also go buy a Bone Crossbow now real quick. Okay, buy a Bone Crossbow, wield it. That's another 50 points right there. Might as well get some uh, bolts while we're here as well. Okay, and that is Death to the Dorgishin completed, another 50 points earned, and some range XP as well, getting us to 40 range, very, very nice, and 72 thieving. Okay, that's another 50 points, pickpocket and a bullseye lantern, nice. What? That's another 50 points. Alright, we've been squeezing through those task points, and I'm pretty sure this is 100 points right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yup, yes it is a hard task, because this is a shortcut to the Cosmic Altar, apparently. We are now at 6290, only 1, uh, 1210 away from our next relic. Okay, opening the range guild is another 50 points, I'm gonna say. Yep, another 50 points, nice. Smith of Steel plate body should be another 50 points, just like that. Yes, it is. And that is another 50 points from filling a medium stash unit, very nice. We are now, I think, 1060 points away from our next relic. Now it is time for the first real PVM of this series to start. You might be looking at my gear and my inventory and thinking, what 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 are you doing, Ditter? I am gonna go kill a demonic gorilla because it is a hard task that grants me a hundred points. Also, I just want to see if I can do it because I have 40 range. So yeah, I also don't have any prayer pots, so let's see how this goes. Bone crossbow, full monk robes, and bone bolts. Wish me luck. So close, but yet so far. It doesn't really matter, I can just come back, it's still 5 HP and I'll just get the kill then. Okay, and I think that is our first demonic gorilla kill. Didn't go as expected, unfortunately no Zenai on drop 1, but that is a hard task complete. And my first proper PVM done. PVM being done, I'm going to get out of here before I get smoked. But, we now have less than a thousand points to go before our next relic, the tier 5 relic. Very, very nice, we're at a total of 208 tasks completed and 6,540 points. Look at me, I'm a beast. So if you guys are wondering what my stats are, here is where we stand. I'm just doing some AFK fishing right now while I edit this video for you guys. Now going into this league with very little Iron Man and general game knowledge, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. Obviously big shout out to Maz who I've been playing this entire league with as he's been helping out loads with the progress I've been making. He's also making his own videos and considering the fact he was ranked top 10 in the last league, make sure you guys check out his channel linked in the description as he's going to be making some insane videos. In tomorrow's video, we will unlock our tier 5 relic as well as our final region, Mauritania, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And please leave a like or a comment on this video as it goes a long way to support my channel. I'll see you guys later.